guys, welcome to the Flower Fanatic. I got my cute little helper today. She's gonna help me plant this beautiful, fluffy Western Arborvita that I bought recently at the nursery. Um, anyways, I bought a Sugar and Spice Thuja, the same kind of tree, this uh, Arborvita, but it was a uh, green. It didn't get this nice, vibrant gold color like this one does. And I planted it in the dead heat of summer. I wanted this, but I could not find it anywhere, so I was a little bit impatient. And then, what I didn't know is under the roots, it was all root bound. I didn't spread those roots. So I was watering it, but it wasn't getting any of that moisture. I didn't water enough and it just completely died. And I spent like 50 bucks on it. So it was pretty sad. But then recently I found this and I was just kind of happy it died because this is so much better and this is what I wanted. I wanted a pop of color in here, something that would be a nice contrast to everything I have going on in this flower bed. Um, a little bit about this plant is it's really nice and soft to the touch. It's very feathery. Let's take a close look. It's so gorgeous. And it can also be pruned and trimmed in early spring. And so that's nice. So I can keep it in shape to the shape I want. Um, it's hardy to zone five through eight. Good job, girl. Now set it down. And it doesn't get as big as some of the other arboviters and it's more deer resistant. The Western one, but deer, if they get hungry enough, they will eat anything. Yep. It's almost as tall as me. <laughs> yeah, and it's almost as tall as little Avi. Um, so this will get about three feet wide to five to 10 feet tall. But like I said, you can keep it trim. I'm obviously gonna need to keep it a little bit smaller in this spot. Um, I have the hole from when I dug my previous Arbivita. So it will take up, I'm hoping to take up most of this space and most of this space. They are a little bit on the slower growing side. And so about six to inches to a foot a year, once they become more established, they're slow growing. So I can put it in smaller, tighter spaces, which is really nice. It's a great specimen plant. You can create hedges. If you don't have a yard, you can even put them in pots. But in the early summer, once it starts coming out, it gets a bright, yellow lime color like this and then as it ages in the fall it will get more of an orange amber color so it changes and you get that interest all winter long i like adding these kind of evergreens for structure and texture so it's going to be so beautiful right here i wanted to show you what i had going on in these other area so i have these cute little aliens right here if you can see those balls right there those get purple and then I have this beautiful smoke bush right here. I have a video earlier on it that shows how big it gets if you want to watch that. But I thought that would be such a beautiful contrast with my bright orange arborvita. I have a hydrangea right there that's lost all of its leaves. It's kind of hard to tell. And then it is just stunning with purple. I am going to show you my black and blue salvia. So. These have been so amazing, but look at the beautiful color combination that is. Okay, so let's start digging it. I'm gonna check it and see if it has any roots that need to be separated and make sure it's not root bound. It's pretty moist and it'll be moist all winter long. If it does dry out a little bit, and I will have to water it if we don't get a lot of moisture throughout the winter, just to make sure it doesn't dry out and die. I've had that happen before, so that's important. Hey, Evie, you wanna help me dig a hole? Okay, it's looking pretty good. Doesn't look like there's too many roots right there. The other one was just covered, so it's pretty open right there. You can loosen them a little bit. <laughs> just gonna loosen those up a bit, and then I'll put it in the soil. Good job, Evie, you're doing such a great job. Okay, let's shovel that nice. Look at that dark, rich soil. The leaves are okay to leave in here because they kind of mulch um, the soil and give it more nutrients. If you are, if you don't like the leaves, just blow them out. I'm kind of lazy. I'm just going to probably leave them in here. And then if I decide I want to take them out, I will. Wow, look at you go. Okay. I think that's a good enough hole. It's as deep as this area right here and a little bit wider. So it'll go in nicely. I'm gonna give it a nice little soaking before I cover it. And then, well, I don't necessarily have to soak it before I cover it. I probably actually won't do that. So, hey, you wanna put it in? Oh, and perfect. Look at how beautiful that color is. I love that you can prune 
and trim this arbovita. <laughs> and I also love, like I said earlier, that it's a little bit more deer resistant, but they will eat if they're hungry enough. <laughs> you gonna help me cover it with the dirt? These are really good. dirt. Oh, that's okay. We like to get messy when we're gardening, huh? I'll do it. Okay, you can help me. We go. Just make sure it gets all covered up and pat that soil down a little bit. Still in front of the soil from the side of it, huh? Alrighty. Well, it's as simple as that. Not much to it. This is just going to be so gorgeous. It will, oh, also will give that evergreen um, interest so that you'll never lose their leaves. So you have that something to look at when it, everything else has lost its leaf and it's pretty barren. This will be a bright spot in the yard. So <sighs> did you have fun? Found it. All right, till next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe and I'll, and if you have any questions, comment and I'll answer them. Talk to you later.